Happy New Year, fellow travelers. We're now into 2018. About a week ago, uh, I put up a video called a heart to heart concerning being prepared on the road. Well, I realized that most of the videos out there concerning toileting, toileting, basically is directed at men or able body women. There's a group of us out here that are over 55 that sometimes have nighttime issues and can't run down to the nearest store or dig a cat hole in the middle of the desert. Um, desert's pretty hard to dig a hole in anyway because it's just about all rocks. So we have to have some sort of toilet area located in our van. And it's not very convenient to get up in the middle of the night when you're half asleep and have to find that toilet, dig it out, uncover it, set it up. I don't know about you, but by then I'm going to need to get a new pair of pants. Uh, I can't go that long. So I thought today I would just talk a little bit about the needs of women over 55 that have some incontinence issues or maybe not. Maybe they just got to get up in the middle of the night and go like right now. You know, um, I'm disabled so I've got to have a bathroom in my van so that I can get to it really quickly. Um, there are those of you out there that need the same thing. I've met a few women that are over 60, uh, some in their 70s, and they say the biggest need they have in, a, in their van is a um, either permanently affixed commode or one that can be readily set up before they go to bed at night, and then they can use it during the night. Um, one of the other issues with the whole toileting is that when you're a gentleman, you can use a bottle and then if you, you know, have to um, have a bowel movement, then you can use the bucket method. Or if you're younger, you can, and a female, you can use a funnel in a jar and also the bucket method. Well, some of us older women can't squat. We can't bend over very easily. So we need a little more substantial place to sit. As you can see by this video, I'm not uh, a Barbie. Um, I'm a little bit larger than a Barbie. So um, I'm going to need something substantial to use for my toileting needs. Also, um, to keep odors eliminated inside of your van, there needs to be a way to separate urine from stool. If they both go together, you've got a nasty mess. And um, I know that the whole jar method and bucket method separates things out. But like I said, if you're in the middle of the night, it's dark, you're fumbling around for a toilet seat, you're not going to think, oh, do I sit forward? Do I sit backwards? Do I use the jar first? Do I, you know, use the bucket first? And women seem to, when they have a bowel movement, also urinate at the same time. So now you've contaminated or mixed together the solids and the liquids. And therefore, now you have an odor in your van. Um, I've desi designed a potty for me that separates the liquids from the solids. So my liquids go into a jar by themselves. I don't have to hold anything. I don't have to situate anything. And then my solids go into a smaller bucket all by itself. And all I have to do is sit. I don't have to think of moving forward, backwards, whatever I, whatever. Once I'm finished, I use a little bit of bleach in my, uh, what I call my urine separator. And then I use um, sawdust and uh, coconut core to cover the dry matter. El odor gone immediately. There isn't even a linger that I even went to the bathroom two seconds after I'm finished. So there are methods to do out here. Um, 
I, I think my design is really uh, great because you don't have to think. You don't have to figure out where you're going to sit. It's good for kids. It's good for males. It's good for me, females. It's good for just about anybody. And it can be modified to fit in just about any type of van situation. And it can also be constructed in a way where you can make it look nice and appealing. Uh, mine's just on a box right now, but in my former rig, I made a circular one that looked really beautiful, and it was all done out of nice cedar woods, and um, it had a gorgeous oak seat, and it, it just looked very pretty. And um, I think I have a picture of that, and I'll um, add it in here into the video when I edit if I can. Um, this particular one that I'm using now is a box, but the internal workings of it is very nice and um, it works very well. It's also lighted so that in the middle of the night when I lift the lid, there's an amber light that comes on. doesn't wake me up too much fully, but I can see what I'm doing. Because out here in the desert, it's, it's very dark. And there isn't any light. And when you flip on that light, boy, you're awake now and then you can't go back to sleep. And, you know, who wants to do that? I want to go back to bed and I want to go back to sleep. And some of us get up two and three times in the middle of the night, you know. So um, I'm going to give you a little peek at my um, commode here and uh, uh, just tell me what you think. Um, I like it. It seems to be a really good idea. Um, I have used a uh, stainless steel uh, dog bowl for my urine separator and a three gallon bucket for the um, stool area instead of a five. Uh, it is high enough to where I can get up and I can get down off very, very easily. So anyway, uh, let me give you a sneak peek at that commode. Well, this is a picture of my commode. There's not a whole lot of room in here to zoom out. The uh, curtains here are a shower curtain that I have constructed because this shower curtain setup also becomes my indoor shower um, underneath my commode down here there's a box and under that box is a shower pan that pulls out into the middle of the room and that becomes my shower now let me tell you what this box is all about first off the commode is built on top of the wheel wells so that eliminates some space but then you've got to be able to get up on it I tried a stool, I fell off, I got a concussion. So let me explain my little box here. Um, this can is for waste paper. That's where it goes. I'm using a composting can with carbon in the top that eliminates the odors. Uh, the box here is made out of um, three quarter inch plywood, so it's plenty sturdy. And when I open the box, you will see I have to the left coconut core and to the right pine shavings. Now I use both of those because this pine shavings looks real clean and the coconut core cuts the odor. You don't have to use both of those. I do because I want to. So there we have it. Also, I have a trap door in front of mine where I can open it. And uh, when I do open it, there is a jug in there that... Uh, holds the urine and uh, I can see how much I have in there so I can dump it and that little jug to the side there is full of gray water so that I can pour it into the commode and rinse it out after each use. Now the commode itself I've built on an elongated seat and added a little spacer and that silver thing down in there is a dog dish with a drain that goes into the bucket and behind it is a bucket back up in there oh, seat cover falling but that is a bucket with the sawdust already in there um, so that is my method and when you sit as you can see, there's plenty of room for urination and then there's plenty of room for 
uh, bowel movements as well. And the shower curtain also acts as a room divider to close up my little toilet area so that I have complete privacy. I don't have to close all the windows in the van because as you can see and as you saw from the uh, opening video, I have windows pretty much everywhere in my van and I don't want to have to close all the windows every time I get up, you know, to go to the bathroom. So um, sometimes it's just easier for me to close off my shower curtain and then you can't see um, anything I'm doing. I'll give you a little better look of the shower setup. Um, as you can see it's on a pole there and it goes across and I can move my shower pan out into the middle of the room and shower. But that will be a video for a later day. Well, thanks for watching this video on information on toileting. Uh, and how you can toilet in your van. I know a lot of you don't have the space that I have to put in a toilet as large as mine. But like I said, these toilets can be modified to fit any space that you want them in. They can even be made portable. Uh, all I know is someone needs a substantial seat so they're not falling on the floor. I've had some friends that have bought some of those cheaper ones and they collapse on them while they're going to the bathroom and that is kind of an ugly thing to deal with. So anyway, leave me some comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Send it on, share it, and uh, I hope to see you uh, further down the road. Remember to always, um, I always have to look at my little sign because I forget. Follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. Get out here and live a little bit. Um, not as difficult as you think. And hopefully I see some of you at the RTR this next month. This month, it's January. This month, it's in a week. Just a week away is the RTR, and hopefully I see some of you there. Traveling with the Graham Cracker, and thank you for coming along. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.